Welcome back from the rest hold. We need to start getting into Battleground 2015. We've got about six matches, I think, that they've announced. No, seven of them, actually. And uh, we're going to start off the way that we always start off these things. The kickoff pre-show match, which is actually being dubbed the Battle for the Crown. R-Truth, good old King What's Up, is going to face King Bad News Barrett. And they haven't really specified yet if this, like, legitimately is for the King of the Ring. Or yeah, if that's did. just... Did they say that really is for King of the Ring, not just like... Well, that... it's for the crown. I mean, whether it changes the history books, I don't know. But That's whoever wins mean. this is officially the, the bearer of the crown. Yeah, because if it's for King of the Ring itself, like the title ship changes, it's got to be still on King Barrett, right? Like, anybody want to make a case that R-Truth should be the next King of the Ring? I don't think there's any reason why it would actually change something in the past. It's not like you're wearing a belt or something like that. Like he still won the tournament. I think you like because Wade Barrett won the kingship via the tournament. So that's how he earned his kingship. Mm -hmm. If R Truth takes that kingship away from him, he becomes the king, but he doesn't win that tournament retrospectively. That that's the way I'm seeing it. Then if they if they do count it as that kind of thing, do the record books reflect it and say like he's an honorary king of the ring? I think oh, you make a just... case for that. Yeah. I mean, if, if we're talking about things in the past, yeah, I think you could make I... an argument that he is. So I have a question. So how about this? You know how, like, mm -hmm. when some people win Royal Rumble matches, they end up having a face at Battleground or the next pay-per-view? Like, they defend their right to be in the main event at WrestleMania? Now, in some cases, Battleground the person they face... Now, hang on. Now, in some cases, they end up losing that match and losing their right to be in the main event at WrestleMania. So does that person who won that match to gain the right to be in the main event? Is he now the Royal Rumble winner? Uh, to be, the, Royal, guy that to beat the, be Royal the Royal Rumble winner. To be the Royal Rumble winner, you have to win the Royal Rumble. Yeah, so all the does that all make the sense books. that our truth is not the King of the Ring if he didn't win the King of the Ring tournament? Because see, that's well, that's what they do with the Royal Rumble and what they did with Money in the Bank. Because Mr. Kennedy is the one who won Money in the Bank, but Edge is the one that cashed it in. So they kind of go back and forth. Like they'll say, like Mr. Kennedy, he's a former Mr. Money in the Bank. But they've also said, like, Edge has cashed in Money in the Bank twice and stuff instead of saying he's a two-time Mr. Money in the Bank. So they sort of, like, they try to avoid saying it. And I would assume that that's what they would do here for this, but they're purposely being vague about it. So I'm assuming that this is just, like, let's add a tagline to it. It'll make it seem more important. And they'll always just go with whatever's convenient for their story in the future. Yeah. So who do you guys think is going to win it? Because I still think, no matter what, King Barrett should win this. Nah, Archer's going to win it. Yeah, I think Archer's going to win it. He's just going to do the silly, dirty rat king for a couple months. And <laughs> Wade, Wade Barrett can go back to doing something better for him because he's he's above this. Well, I forgot to introduce him, but joining us on the line, Sean Walker. What's up, Sean? Not a lot, mate. Who do you think is winning? Because you, you've got Barrett on your team. Do you think that Barrett's going to start picking up the pace, or do you think that R-Truth is going to kill it? I think R-Truth is going to kill it. I think whatever momentum Barrett had this year has just gone. It's cut. They fucking flushed it down the fucking toilet. Maybe that's why Truth has that plunger. Ooh. Mm -hmm. You read them take the joke, I was going to say nice. <laughs> Wago, what do you think's happening? Ah, microphone, fuck you. Okay, so I've got Bad News Barrett winning this match, but personally I want R-Truth to, just so it strips him of this King gimmick. So this is an interesting question that I want to pose here, as opposed to when we're getting toward the end of this, but so far, now that we've gone through the matches and everything that's happened at SmackDown and everything, there hasn't been a Divas match announced. Do you think that it makes sense to not have a Divas match at this pay-per-view, or are they neglecting that and putting on something like this. Hmm. I wouldn't be surprised if they add like a last minute exhibition, like maybe put um, Becky Lynch and Sasha out there for a match, for a singles match, just to like say, hey, these are the new girls here, here's what they could do. Rather than having that big three on three on three showdown that we're getting teased, I think that's going to be our SummerSlam thing. Just get a, get a little exhibition there with those two. I think they could do that. I think it possibly also do something along the lines of just having a simple diva segment that takes up time on there. Because you they didn't really talk so much face to face. I think they could do that for like just a small like ten minute thing on a pay per view, just have them go out there and just 
spit some rhymes or something. I don't know. Sasha Banks is uh, related to Snoop Dogg. She could come up with something. Personally, if I was going to do it, I'd just have a Divas Battle Royal for the title, and I'd have Nikki Bella come out on top and tease whichever Diva you want to have the championship next as the runner-up. Would you have anyone else in the match other than the nine that they had in the ring on Monday? You could throw in a person to make it an even ten, but it's not a necessity. It'd probably be Natalia, wouldn't it? She's the go-to gal. Yeah, she was, even her. might even be, just be home. I mean, yeah, Tyson yes. Kidd's... Like, well, I don't know. Fuck. There isn't a missing report for her, is she? Is there? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. She's at Del Rio's. <laughs> hmm. So, our truth and King Barrett, that's our pre-show. That's going to start off the night with that, and hopefully that'll be good and uh, kind of pick up the pace and everything will keep getting better instead of being like something that sucks and then everything tanks after that or whatever. But um, this should be the end of this feud at the very least. Especially since it's Battle for the Crown. And um, where would you guys like to see them go on from here? It really just depends on what they want to do with the mid-card belts for, I don't know, SummerSlam. Because really, there's not really much you could put Barrett and R-Truth in. I mean, R-Truth would probably end up just doing a f just comedy gags on for all for the next few weeks. If anything, he would just be end up being an appreciation match at the uh, Survivor Series, they're, they're going to put him like a throwaway match against someone who just is like, hey, you're not a real king, so fuck you. So, honestly, right now, these guys, after after Sunday, they're both are going to be in a terrible spot. I don't know what Wade Bear's going to be doing either. I think he might just be, uh, he might have to just be on the uh, pending list and just wait to be given instruction. I don't know where he could go from here. He's in a terrible spot, though. Absolutely terrible. They ruined this King of the Ring thing. If they weren't going to do anything with it, then why the fuck did you have the tournament? And I know the only reason why they did was just so that they could put something on the network to get people to want to uh, do the free month. Other than that, it has been completely useless, and it might have been more of a detrimental to his character than anything, because they got rid of the Bad News thing, just for the King thing, and they ended up fucking giving it the our truth out of all the people. Anybody um, have any faith that King Barrett's got something in w the works for SummerSlam? Personally, if I was him, WWE, i transition him into the Intercontinental title picture. Maybe use um, the next month or so uh, to build him up and give him another feud of, uh, who is an R-Truth. From there, you can build someone for Ryback after SummerSlam. As far as R-Truth goes... I suppose the only thing you really could do is a feud with somebody like a Bo Dallas if you want just a no and a pre show feud. Uh, they've got something built in there already with him ending uh, Bo's streak, so I'm all for it. Both guys are really good at comedy. So I'll pitch I'm... a suggestion here. What do you guys think about this? Cesaro versus King Barrett going forward. Nah. No. Cesaro is too good for Barrett at this point. Yeah, Barrett's been dropped down to a comedy level. Cesaro just had match of the night three weeks in a row. That would be too that much. Would, that, would be, that would be Sandowing him. I'm going to make that a term. Mm, poor he Sandow. Would be, he would be Sandowed. It's pretty bad that that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> that sucks for Sandow. Any other opinions you guys want to throw out here about this before we move on? Alrighty. Well, we've got Sheamus versus Randy Orton next. Yay. And then we're going to move on with everything else. So 